Space Pirate Fregat. You can't say that kind of word on, on the show, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can say whatever the fuck I want. This is this is America. I'm not in America right now. <laughs> yeah, well, Samus is. <gasps> Samus is orbiting Earth. Welcome back. So what's so what's the uh, what's the story of this game anyway? <laughs> like you're talking about cold opens. That was about as cold as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh yeah. Welcome back to Chinstrap Chaps. Um, the story of this game is Nintendo wanted to make some money, so they're like, hey, people like this game. So they made it. All right. They hired All right. Well, they hired a studio in Texas to make it. Oh, Texas. I'm pretty sure it's something. Texas. I don't know. Is this looking good to you? Yeah, it looks pretty. She's, she's you know, walking. Her you know, game... GameCube yeah, graphics. 2002, man. Look how shiny her gun is. And the pixels <sighs> on that breath. Uh, ooh, that's what this thing would be I saying. I agree. <laughs> he says, hey, what's up? Uh, sorry, I had a lot of coke. <laughs> sorry, I had some fucking pasta earlier, and it was great. <laughs> Oh, could you please not shoot me in the face? It gives me indigestion. Nope. How are you supposed to do this, Taylor? You can't win. <laughs> this is Why doesn't it just do this all the time? Unbeatable source of power. You know, actually, I do have some questions here. Yeah. Why is there a creature inside of this place? One, two. Why is there a force field thing that's doing exactly what it was doing? I don't know. And that is perfect size for this creature. Were you meant? W was this place meant to have a creature? Uh, I don't know. There were more of more of those things earlier in this level. This is like the end of the level. Because <laughs> I must have started this... Just test the emulator or something. Well, I mean, what emulator? But then... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> everything is legal. <laughs> But I must have done it to test it or something, and then I just stopped like partway through. Because this is still just the intro to the game. Come on, it's six, almost seven minutes to get out of here? That's crazy. That's way too much time. Okay. Seven minutes. See, there's one right there. Might as well just take a nap. Yeah. I could take a nap in seven minutes for sure. What do you what do you think drives Samus to do what she does? Money. Money? Yeah, she's a bounty hunter. That's something that they never really talk about in the games. <laughs> yeah, like a, I don't I don't remember really uh, ever seeing her getting paid for anything. No. But she's a bounty hunter. She just like, kind of does it. Yeah. That reminds me, I uh, as you know. Uh, uh. Yes, I do know. I do know belching. <laughs> Melissa bought me a Switch for Christmas, which is fucking incredible. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah. Yeah, I was totally expecting it, mainly because she told me. I know she did. When I was in Canada. I know she told me that, like, she told me later after the fact that she told a bunch of people. I did not, I was not yes. expecting it. And, uh. Yes. <laughs> I've. I have played and beaten Metroid Dread, and gotta say, it was alright. It was alright? It was just okay, in my opinion. I, I wasn't, like, blown away by it like a lot of people were. I think a, yeah. lot, I think a lot of them were just excited to have a new Metroid game. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. This uh, the series does not give that much love. No. Well, it's the first new game in, like, ten years. It's like, you know... You know, but it's just like, I don't know, I thought it was kind of by the numbers, like, overall. Like, they didn't really do anything, like, super unique or interesting with it. It was kind of just, like, more of, like, what you'd expect. Especially from, like, yeah. a, like a side-scroller uh, Metroid. Like, I still enjoyed it. Like, it was still a good game. Like, solid all around, but, you know. I don't know. I would have liked to see them do a little bit more than just the same old 
trope of losing your abilities at the beginning of the game and then getting them all back. I can understand that, but you gotta understand too that, yeah, it's been 10 years and if you just make something... They, they run the risk of making it too different and alienating anyone. Yeah, I guess so. So it's, you know, this combo thing. Well, that's exactly what they did with the last game, though. Like, Other M was, like, a completely different thing. <laughs> yeah, well, to my knowledge, Other M was not taken the best. Not, not taken the greatest. Yeah, and mostly, I think it was just because, like, Team Ninja developed it. Like, that's just a weird developer for something like that, I think. But. Yes. Whatever. I don't know. I guess maybe it just oh, proves. I'm skinny now. I guess it just proves how formulaic these games are. <laughs> yeah. They right. need to get some deep lore into this. Go really far, nitty gritty. Uh, Christopher Nolan. They could. They really could if they It'll wanted to. It'll be the origin to. story of Samus and how she got her suit. I think they did that in the... They did that in a manga, sort of. I read, like, they have a manga about Metroid, and it's like, like the prequel, like, before the first game, I think. Yeah. It's okay. Like, it's kind of... I don't know. It's whatever. <laughs> It's not a very lore-rich world, Metroid. Yeah. What uh, what happened to the other three and a half minutes that you had? Why did it blow up immediately after you left? I don't know. Because this is two thousand. I feel like that was. <laughs> two thousand two. I feel like that was. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like that was an inconsistent timer there. Like, if if it's gonna blow up in seven minutes, make it blow up in seven minutes. Yeah. Give you like a hot second to like walk away all cool like in the explosion then also why was it exploding all like pre pre exploding after the seven minutes there's, I don't know, there's a lot of questions the parasite queen fell into the reactor core or whatever yeah with the, the parasite queen the is that? fell into the reactor core that was clearly made for her to fall into it i feel like someone someone needs to explain that there's an osha violation in there somewhere a lot of osha violations for sure and those leaves are Ugh. pixelated well billy you gotta understand we're upscaling this okay because i have a big tv and we are totally in the same room right now can't you see how big my tv we, is yes i can it is almost as if it's the same size as my tv at home which I am looking at currently. <laughs> I am currently looking at. <laughs> how how big is your TV anyway? Uh, I didn't actually. Forty inches, I think. Nice. I think it's a forty. I inch. got a fifty. I got a fifty-five. Oh wow, that's big. Yeah, big boy. It's perfect for when I want to watch videos. I can just kind of sit back in my chair and relax. What kind of videos are you watching? Copious amounts of porn. I would, I would expect eight. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from you. Eight videos at once. <laughs> All on the. Sound I have system. so much real estate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got the sound bar hooked up. <laughs> I play them all at the same time. I got them all in separate video, like corners of the of the TV. Where the fuck do I go here? Do I go up? Yeah, I think I gotta go up. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember which way to go. You know... Who's plowing out there? That monster, Who's... that thing did not do anything to you, and you just murdered it. Yep. Actually, I don't want to go that way. Who's fucking plowing? Do you hear that? Plowing? Somebody's plowing out there. <laughs> like, sexually, or, like, sexually to the snow? I mean, both. Probably. Probably both. Well, yeah. I mean, there's probably someone plowing at all, all times of the day. I was plowing earlier. I'm gonna let you decide which one. I mean, <laughs> me too. And I'll let you also decide which one. I mean, Billy. Something tells me we were it both was not plowing. snow. <laughs> See, Billy. Something tells me we were both plowing in the same fashion earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man, yeah, I don't pick up shovels. <laughs> I have a snowblower, okay? <laughs> An electric one, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's it's uh it's it's motors co connected by the kinetic energy of sex. <laughs> it's heat powered. Body heated. It's P powered, more like it. Sorry, D powered. D powered. <laughs> yeah, we don't say penis anymore. You That's so did. 2000 late. Jokes on you. Billy, are you going to that uh, emo festival? No, hell no. Oh. <laughs> Why would I go to something I just I know I that, don't like, like. <laughs> I just remember looking online and like everybody's like really excited but so skeptical about it. <laughs> yeah. Like I think Dennis like, was like super into it and it's like, all right. Yeah, he has tickets and all that. He's like, I hope people keep being skeptical cuz then I get tickets for cheaper. Yeah. And better seats. I'm like, yeah, sure, but I saw yeah. that they, uh... It's all you. I saw that they added some extra days to it. Oh, did they? Yeah. Well, because they've got, like, 60... I thought, like, half like, those people were bands. dead. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure somebody in the band, that, that, like, died at some point. Yeah. No, they still... A lot of them still... I guess still have careers. I don't know. Yeah. What does it call We Were Young? When We, we were, were Young? When We Were Young, yeah, something like that. That's, that's fucking gay. Well, <laughs> you gotta think, dude. Like, <laughs> everybody our age is now, like, now turning 30. Like, how yeah, much do but you so... appeal to those people? Like, we're all the same, like, person in the sense that we all just like to still listen to the music that we grew up listening to. <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I've listened to a new band, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just listened to one today. Oh, I did. That is true. Good point. Yeah, I, guess, I still got, I still got my fingers on the pulse of the community. I I think I gotta actually like knowingly and like go out of my way to like look and be like, all right, what's what are people listening to now? You know, because it's like I remember. I, gotta find I remember the deep dive to go down back there. in the. I remember back in the day, Taylor, when there was a, a a young boy who would sit on his computer and go into message boards and look at the metal bands what happened to that boy is that me you're talking about yeah that's you i mean i don't know i think it was because like a lot of the stuff at the time was like i was just getting into like the prog metal -y type stuff and it's like i've been so like surrounded by it since then that i'm kind of like eh whatever like they, now it's become mundane and insane uh, in a way well there's you gotta have like the band's gotta do something really you know, unique in order to to catch my attention. If anything, I've kind of that's understandable. If anything, I've kind of gone in a different direction where I like really get into stuff like Counting Crows and shit. Like it's not even Prague anymore. Or like the, yeah, or, like, it's just the midnight. You know. What would you even call Counting Crows? I don't know. Kind of like just rock, like an al alternative rock type thing. You know. Yeah. Like, cause they kind of have rock songs but like a lot of their earlier stuff like the first record isn't really that like rock oriented i guess but i call i'd call yeah. them, i'd still call them a rock band though yeah they uh they've snuck into my uh my daily listen oh yeah yeah i i listen to basically just two or three songs though that's all right i listen to elevator boots yeah, that's a good song mr jones and um, uh, round here. Those are all good songs. Yeah, they sneak in there, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna turn this off. I like uh, Mrs. Potter's Lullaby. That's a good song. That's a great freaking song, dude. I'm trying to remember the other one. It was like Water something. Rain King. Yeah, ranking. Ranking's a good fucking That song. one's a good one. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. So if anything, that's that's kind of what I've done, is like, instead of listening to like newer prog groups and stuff, like I just listen to fucking like other ty like styles of music that I never really listen to a lot. Yeah. 
I'm trying to broaden it a little bit because yeah, normally I just listen to alternative and classic rock. Yeah. But I've been kind of sticking away from classic rock lately. Classic rock and like, just because you know I've heard it all. Yeah, I need a big break from that for a long time because it's like I've gotten to the point. Never thought I'd get to this point, and I don't know. Maybe you feel the same way, but like I've gotten to the point where I am goddamn sick and tired of hearing Bohemian Rhapsody, dude. Sick of it. <laughs> I'm not sick of it, but I don't search it out. No, like, I'm, I'm tight. Like, like if it shows I, up, I'll listen to it. Well, I've gotten to the point where I'd probably, I'd probably turn off the radio if it came on. <laughs> like, I'm like, all right, I'm done hearing this for, like, a couple of years. Like, I just don't need to hear it. <laughs> totally understandable. I just, you know, I really like Queen, but... Oh, I know you do. I mean... You see, what I've been listening to when I listen to Queen is the more operatic stuff, like Barcelona. Uh-huh. That's a good song. I like uh, Prophet Song. That's the one I like. Oh, Prophet Song's good. Oh. Prophet Song, like, I feel like people would like that one more if it wasn't on A Night at the Opera. Yeah, A Night at the Opera is. Personally, I like it. Oh, yeah, no, I like it too. But I'm just saying, like, it got overshadowed by Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much bo everyone knows it as the Bohemian Rhapsody uh, album. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's good songs on there for sure. It's a good album all the way through. I'm just saying, like, Prophet Song, I think, is just a super underrated song. Oh, yeah. Like, it's it's really good. All right, I don't remember where we left off in this game the last time we played it, um, but I'm probably... Like, not too far off from where we were. It's already been a few years since we played this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. The last thing I remember was you probably, were in, a, like, a very large room. Probably the beetle, the beetle thing that comes up here in a sec. And there was, like, some stinky gas in it. Yeah. Um, by the way, I am not timing these episodes. I figure since we're kind of using this as, like, a... A testy, a testy thing. thing that we'll just let it roll for a while, and then whenever we stop is when we stop, and then we can queue up the next thing. Yeah, and see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I can see every once in a while when you're, like, turning quicker and all that, um, it does get a little choppy. Yeah. When there's, like, a lot of uh, stuff going Oops. on, but it's not too bad overall. Cool. Hey, if we can... If we can make this work, then at least we could, you know, not do this every Sunday, but like maybe a little bit more frequently. Yeah, every every couple Sundays. Yeah, you just gotta get all the shit I know I'll be... on your end. Yeah, I know I'll be. Uh... They say that we're gonna be working pretty much all the Saturdays up until like July. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure they're going to give us a break once in a while. But, uh, yeah, once I get some more days off, rather than just my Sunday where I have to plan. Because a lot of people want my attention. Kyle wants me to come over. I haven't been over his new house. Uh, he's the son of the plant manager at my place. Uh -huh. uh, real nice kid. I say kid, he's only like a year younger than I am. And um, he wants to play Warhammer. Oh. Since he's never played Warhammer before, and I don't really play Warhammer, you but. Call up Mitch. Yeah. Mitch or Jimmy. He also wants to play Magic. He say he's one of those people. Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Dance, dance. Nah. Car games are for losers. Yeah. Yeah, oh. so he wants to do that. You know, I got you, I got Anne, I got Jimmy, and Dan. We're playing um, Call of Cthulhu. Uh, -huh. uh RPG. So I've been running that for them. You don't need more D and D music, so. dude? Uh, I'll probably need more D &D <laughs> music. That was, but this uh, be nice and spoopy. That that was fun the one time we did that. Yeah, I liked it. I still actually have those. 
I think. And I think about them. I probably have them saved somewhere. I don't remember where I put them. Oh, well, you could always just pick them out of the email that you sent me to. I think I. No, I think they're probably on like a backup drive. That's probably where they're at. But yeah, right now I've just been putting on uh, ambient music. Yeah. In the background, because there's a whole bunch of uh, specifically Call of Cthulhu esque ambient music on YouTube. I'm like, oh, perfect. Mm. Just play like a hour long one and just let it roll. Yeah, right. But uh, <sighs> it's a lot different than D and D. Right. Like we play for four hours and only fought once, I think. Most of the rest of the time was uh, intrigue and um, detective work. That's what this game is mainly about. Because you don't want to fight in Call of Cthulhu because you'll fucking die. <laughs> I have never played it, so I don't know anything about it. Well, I mean, you know, it's HP Lovecraft. No, I know that, but I mean, like, like it's a game, yeah. right? Yeah, it's it's D&D. Right. Just, oh, okay. just its own system. Gotcha. That's cool. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's also one thing. I've been reading all of uh, H.P. Lovecraft's uh, work. That's good. Is it good? Yeah, actually. I've never it's read um, it. it's definitely antiquated. Yeah, I know. We were talking about that a while ago. Yeah, he's 1920s. He talks like he's from the 1800s. Yeah. Um. Uh. And he's a, he definitely is racist. <laughs> well, everyone was back then, so I yeah. expect. <laughs> yeah, he always uh, refers to black people as monkey-like uh. in his books. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> um, black cats are normally named uh, the N.I.G., I don't like that. Yeah, so, I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, can't go there. But good stories. Yeah. Well, that's that's how it is with like, like I was mentioning to you earlier. I've been into Berserk lately, and uh, it gets a lot like more interesting like the further you go. Because I remember watching the anime a long time ago, and I never watched the whole thing, but I watched enough of it. And I'm like, all right, it's dudes with swords fighting. And that's pretty much what the whole anime is. But then once you hit the ending of it, like, shit changes. It, it gets really, really interesting. And then, like, most, like, it's, it's crazy how far the, the manga goes compared to the anime. Because there's just, like, so much stuff that's not even, like, in the anime at all. Yeah. I guess yeah, I, I have I guess they didn't have enough material in the manga to adapt into an anime at the time, so that's probably why. Yeah, I'm not sure if they were doing it in you know, like at the same time as the manga was coming out. Uh I, I think it kind of was cuz the original anime came out in 97. Um but they were still publishing new volumes of the manga in like the mid 2000s. Okay. Yeah, and normally animes catch up to the uh, to the mangas pretty quickly. Yeah. Because it takes a lot longer to write a manga. Yep. And draw all the pictures than it is to uh, animate it. Yeah. Since you can really condense. Yeah. It's really good, though. If you want something like that to consume, I recommend it. Get It gets a little rapey. Not gonna lie. Yeah, well, I, I I know roughly the basics of the the whole thing. I've never actually like gone searched it out or anything. But uh, Guts seems like a fun person. No. <laughs> you couldn't could, no, couldn't be all. more wrong there. <laughs> like one of the I can't remember like the opening the rich guy's name. Oh, the the opening arc of the show I think is where the manga begins also they call it the the black swordsman arc so it's one of those things where like the opening of the of the story is like really f like late in the story actually and then like the rest of it is like you know telling the preview yeah, the telling of what happens up till that point 
yeah, just getting to that yeah, point. So he, in the manga anyway, in the Black Swordsman arc, he's a fucking dick. <laughs> like, the most unlikable character that you could ever ask for to be your protagonist. Like, he's an asshole in every sense of the word. Yeah, well, you know, you'll, you'll grow to love him because he'll, he'll find that person to make him a little more uh, less rapey and more, more lovable. Oh, he doesn't rape. Yeah. Not well. at first, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I just got to a point in the in the manga where he, he does a little bit of rape. And it's kind of up in the air as to whether or not he meant to do it or if, like, a demon possessed him. I think it's kind of it's kind yeah. of a bit of both. I think they leave it very ambiguous. So, god damn it! Fucking first person platforming, dude. But uh, but yeah, I like it. The there was one I after I watched the anime, like I did when like when I was kind of sifting through the the manga because the manga follows the anime pretty closely, or I guess vice versa, like. They're, they go pretty closely together. Like, the anime doesn't deviate too terribly much. Um, mm -hmm. Like, there's obviously a lot of stuff that they cut, because, like, they just can't put all of it in there, but, like, for the most part... Yeah, like, there's the, some that's needless. Yeah, but, like, the broad strokes are pretty much the same. So, when I started reading the manga, I pretty much skipped over the first, like, 90 chapters, because, like, that's the whole <laughs> anime, basically. Um, yeah, you're just like, all right, but I did. I've already seen. But this. I did read the ending because the ending is really fucking good, and I wanted to like you know kind of see if they did anything different with it. And I swear to you, Billy, there is one chapter in that like of the ending because the ending is like split up into plenty of different chapters, right? And I swear, <laughs> there's one chapter where it's the there's a person getting raped, and it's the whole chapter is just that. Like, there's nothing else that happens in it. It's just like twenty Damn. pages of like rape. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> like, I get it. Like, I get it. We get we get what's going on here. But you but... don't need to show like different positions and. <laughs> oh no, he's raping me in this position now. Yeah, it's it's pretty brutal. There's... Sounds like my kind of. My kind of show. I mean, rape aside, it's really good. I like. I would. I would say like, you can watch the anime and see if you actually want to like go further with it. Because, mm -hmm. like I say, most most of the anime I feel is kind of like to me it's all kind of boring just because it's like, yeah, it's just dudes with swords fighting. Like that's what most of it is. But then the ending, the yeah. ending turns everything completely on its head, and it's like. All right, like that's where the interesting stuff starts to happen, and you're like, okay, I want to see what happens next. Have you seen JoJo? No, I haven't. I know that. One's... I would definitely suggest it. No, that one's like a real over-the-top one too, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's definitely in the same kind of like style and vein. Yeah. As, well, not in the same style and vein. It's far more lighthearted. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, kind of. There's goofy. no, no rape. Yeah. That's like over the top action violence shit, right? Yeah. Uh, I remember there being the some sad moments. I remember there being the PS3 game a long time ago. Uh, oh Jesus! Yeah, it's also like Fist of the North Star kind of stuff yeah, too. Where everybody's a is Which Jets I, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I like the style of it too. Isn't there good music too? Like the first. Yeah, the first one is very much like, like the first season's very much like how you would expect big barrel-chested yeah. men doing their thing. Yeah. The second one is a lot like that too, but with a little more style to it. And then like the third one is super stylized, and you don't really see very many barrel-chested men. Yeah. So kind of you know, like they found their style, but they still have some of them. Uh. It's really good. I would, uh, I would definitely suggest it. Maybe once I'm done with Berserk, I'll check it out. Yeah, the best seasons are, for most people, the third season. Personally, I like the second season the best. Mm -hmm. 
Well, the first season is really good too, but it's it's not as extreme or anything. It really like lets you get into it before uh, shit starts going crazy. Yeah. What the fuck is Hawk out there? Oh. Well, maybe right here we should call her an episode, huh? Okay. I don't know how long we've been going, but okay. Next time. Let me let me look at my my thingy. <sighs> um. Next time. I'd... Looks like. Next next time we we figure out how long it took. Thank you.